So why do people choose assisted living? We know that most people want to stay in their own home, yet over a million people every year, don't quote me on that, I have no idea, but there's a lot of people every year that choose to go to assisted living. Why? Why would they make that choice? Well, I wanted to put together, here are the most common reasons that people move into assisted living. Assisted living, of course, is not a skilled nursing facility. It's not like a hospital. It doesn't have that coldness. You're not sharing a room. You, you have your own apartment. You're in a community that is really designed with a senior lifestyle in mind. So it's a, a senior living community. And so why do people choose to do that? Well, I came up with the, the top five reasons that people move into assisted living. Number one, and we've seen this a ton over the last two years, is that isolation has occurred in your home and you're not getting out, you're getting depressed, you are lonely. Assisted living, on the other hand, is full of stuff to do. That's low impact that you're not gonna be taking big risks doing, but you know, you've got tons of social functions, you've got if you want to do art, you've got a place to do art. If you want to go into the garden and work in the garden, you got a place for that. You got a place to get your hair done, a place to exercise. Uh, there's there's all sorts of events and calendar uh, things going on, and it's it's a lot of fun. Number two, you have your own apartment. You have your own space, so. You're not sharing a room. You're not uh, getting a room in a house like a board and care would provide. You're you're really you've got a lot of autonomy because you you're still making lots of choices for yourself, right? You you're able to go to breakfast if you feel like it. Sit, you can sit in your own apartment, watch TV, be reclusive if you like, or you can go out and participate in some of the fun stuff that's going on. It's really your choice. Um, but some of these places, you know, you've got studios, you've got one bedroom, two bedroom, you got some beautiful places out there that I think you'd be really proud of. And of course you would furnish those things yourself with your own things and make yourself feel like this is your home now. The third reason is the number of chores you're doing at home, you know, virtually go away. So you're going to uh, get help with any of the, the chores really, or you don't want to do anymore. In fact, lots of women don't want to cook anymore. You know, you have a restaurant, you know, type dining there in the assisted living. Uh, somebody who can make your bed for you or do your laundry, you know, all the things that can assist you in your living, you know, that's what it's all about. The um, number four reason for people choosing assisted living is that they have a family caregiver that is that is bending over backwards, trying to do everything that they can for you. They're trying to run their own life. They're, they, have a, they have a job, they have kids, they got you, and you're just trying to take some of that, that burden off of them. And a lot of times we see this with somebody who's a widow or widower, uh, that their partner's now gone and they, you need a little more interaction. So going to an assisted living community can, it can kind of fill some of the holes that have kind of been left behind there for you. Um, number five is the costs. Believe it or not, a lot of people have no idea how much assisted living costs compared to say 24 hour care. 24 hour care is very, very expensive. Uh, you know, you're looking at $30 an hour for 24 hours for 30 days in a row, you know, that doesn't break you real quick, you know, that you've planned a lot better than most. Assisted living, you're looking at something in maybe the four to six thousand dollar range, unless you needed memory care, which also assisted living, many of the assisted living places provide a memory care option. So maybe one spouse is in the in the memory care and the other one is in the assisted living. So, you know, these are these are choices that you can you can make as a family. But expense, of course, is always like one of the big factors. Uh, so I know this is a complicated issue. They're all complicated issues, trust me. Uh, but moving out of moving out of a home that you've been in for a very long time that you feel uh, is part of you, uh, it's not easy, and it's not going to happen overnight. But introducing some of these pluses could be could be a good way in the long term to get people familiar with this idea. So when the time comes, you're ready. If you if you need my help please uh, let me know. I, I help people find assisted living. I help people find memory care 
for folks that are, are needing that help and it's a free service that I provide. So give me a call, I'm on your side. I help guide you through this process. I've been to all the places and I know, I know how, to, how to do this now. So uh, give me a call if you need me, all right? Take care.